Hello everyone, welcome to the Harbour video. Why does he suck and what can we do to improve him? Because in general, like I played not many games with Harbour, but I can say with confidence that he is not feeling good like when you're playing him. You know, it's like you're, tr you're trying to be creative with this agent, but everything that he tries to achieve is literally just the same. And that's the problem that with the, the first problem that I see with Harbour. Be in mind that this is not a scripted video, this is just my rant. So uh, there's gonna be a random thoughts um, being put in here and there. But in general, like this agent should be a controller, right? So his um, ability should be controlling, in this case, sites. And when you compare him to Omen, to Brimstone, um, to Viper to some degree as well, uh, his kit is completely different from the other agents. His entire kit is being focused uh, on vision denial. Every single piece of utility that you're using achieves the same thing. Every single piece of this utility achieves the same thing. None of them are dealing any damage. None of them are dealing any kind of crowd control that is actually, um, let's say, big enough to affect the opponents because the slow through the wall through, uh, through, through the wave or through the wall is just not big enough to affect the opponents, right? And it also affects you, so it's a symmetrical effect. So if you want to push through your own utility, you're getting punished just because you use your utility. And the problem is, when you have all three pieces of utility achieving the same thing, then you don't have a lot of flexibility in managing tasks that you have in the game. For example, let's say I'm holding... Um, I'm holding A main, right? And I hear a lot of footsteps on, on, on A main and I want to stop them from pushing. So my options are block their vision or block their vision or block their vision. And the problem is my most expensive uh, piece of utility that costs 350 credits can also be countered by people having guns. So let's compare it to a Sage Wall, because this is a very similar thing on defense. Like the orb with the, with the, uh, with the shield, to some degree, is, should be made a comparison. Uh, we should make a comparison to the Sage Wall, because in theory, people have to shoot it through to go through, right? But it's not exactly true because the sage wall at least stops physical physical movement and people have to shoot it to go through through this smoke people can go through without shooting it right and they get also additional cover right but it's also really terrible to manage because if someone just shoots 13 bullets of a phantom the smoke just dissipates so let's say if you're being pushed by three players on a main just three not even like full team just three players and you use your smoke to stop the potential push three of them shoot four or five bullets each, and the smoke just instantly gets destroyed, and you have to reuse another piece of utility to achieve the same effect that you tried to achieve with your orb. So in this case, like you are so inflexible at defending your side that your opponents will exactly know what you're trying to achieve. Now let's compare it to, for example, Viper or Brimstone. With Viper or Brimstone, you can be more flexible with the smokes that you use because you know they're not going to get countered. So you can put them either aggressively or as a one-way, right? You can put them as a one-way here. You can put them aggressively on, on, on A main to make sure that they have to check wine as well. And you can just put it on A main as well here and just be sure that they go push into side while being affected by the smoke, uh, either decay or lack of vision uh, while in the smoke. And then you still have an additional piece of utility that will make the players um, really hesitant to push onto your site. So if you use a snake bite, well, or, or brimstone molly, most likely people will just not push your site. So you're buying time for your, for your teammates to rotate to your site where you're defending. With Harbor, there's absolutely zero chance at achieving that buying time aspect because your utility has only one way of playing the game. It's just blocking their vision, and the slow is not big enough to affect players from pushing into you. And your one piece of utility is controllable, so you're essentially just throwing it and exposing your position as well, and not knowing if you have effect or not. So there's also uncertainty. It doesn't help as well that the utility that you use is pretty clunky to use. 
because if you're if you're walling you have to be in a uh, in a certain angle to make sure that the wall is in a good angle right let's say i'm playing from from switch if i use the wall like this then i don't have a good angle to use the wall to stop people from pushing because I, I either buy space for the opponents, right? Let's say I'm using it like this. And I stop it like this. Then it stops only the angle from here. It's not even like... Like, you, you have to be super precise and also stop it. So you have to pay attention to the minimap. So it's insanely clunky for you to use. And also, you have to remember that the indicator on the minimap is not correct. That's another thing that I discovered before preparing this video. Is when you're watching at the indicator on the minimap... I will, I will show you a test. Let's say we want to stop... Um, look, the indicator shows that it stops... The wall stops literally just at the edge of the wall on heaven, right? You can see here. And we pop the wall. It should stop here. But it stops like two meters further. Or like one meter, whatever this is. But it stops further, so it's not aligning. But not only that... If you look if you look up or down the indicator becomes longer or shorter but it doesn't change anything when it comes to the actual like um a uh, movement of the wall because let's say we, we're gonna make a test i'm gonna uh, look straight up so the indicator is the shortest uh, we're gonna align it with the with the heaven area like this Pressing fire, it should stop at the beginning of heaven, but yet it goes through because that just ignores the, the, the mark on, on the map. So you cannot believe what you're seeing on the minimap because the indicator is not correct, which also makes it way more clunky to use because you, are, you can't really like believe what you're seeing on the minimap. That's a big problem. And this doesn't appear only with the wall, but it also appears with the wave. Sorry, it does not only appear with the... What are the names? Cascade and High Tide. Okay, so it appears with Cascade, but it also appears with High Tide. Because High Tide has also indicator of uh, the um, how long the wall is, right? And the same it happens with the Viper Wall. Because if we align, let's say we're going to make a test, and we're going to put it so it ends exactly, exactly at the wall in heaven. And yet, it's longer by like two meters or three or whatever this is. Four meters even. Wow, that distance, like, oh, wow, okay, well, that, that, that is pretty weird. Anyway, the point is, the wall is longer than the actual indicator. The Viper wall has the same problem. In this case, typically, it's not going to like bother you because it's longer, okay, I guess that helps. But sometimes you're trying to achieve a specific angle with a wall that you prepare, and you have to take into account that the indicator on the map is actually incorrect, which is another problem and makes the character more clunky. The one piece of utility that I actually think is very impactful, though, is the ultimate. Like, I really like the ultimate. It allows you to create a lot of space, and it gives you a, li a little bit of, a, of like, a information gathering aspect as well because you can see the visuals of the stunts that are happening and because of that you're able to clear like the entire site and also remember that it moves towards the angle that you're looking at so if i'm looking like this and i'm looking towards uh heaven right so the middle of the ultimate is going to be here and it's going to move towards this ping right so you can plan uh with with the with the effect having a specific um range right i'm pushing it and it's going to move a little bit towards this direction, as you can see. And it clears slowly the entire site. And you know, the sound cue and the visual cue will give you an indication where the players are standing. The problem, though, with this ultimate is that sometimes you cannot anticipate where someone will be standing and you're going to get stunned by your own ultimate. I had this um, problem in the past with... Um, with the character on, on Icebox when I was pushing screens and someone and Asova was just standing behind screens and I got stunned because he got stunned. Let's say someone is standing on Switch and I'm just ulting a side in this case, right? And I'm pushing because I ulted and I want to, you know, just go into the side while having the effect on. But if someone is standing in this corner here and gets stunned, then there's a high chance that you will stun your teammates and maybe yourself because you're going to be in the range of the stun. Which makes, again, 
the ult really clunky to use. Because when you compare it to like a bridge ultimate, with bridge ultimate, you will know exactly what to expect from the ultimate because it cascades as a wave. And once the wave goes in, you're not gonna get affected. With this ultimate, you have to take into account that sometimes you just get randomly stunned because your opponent is just standing behind the wall and the range of the stun goes through the walls. So that's another thing that makes it a little bit more clunky to use, a little bit more RNG to use. But the ultimate is in general um, a nice nice piece of utility because it, it, it has huge effect and it, it kind of works like an initiation. And that's another problem that I see with Harbor. His kit is actually like an initiator thing more than controller because you can um when you compare it let's compare it to phoenix for a moment his utility is a little bit more like phoenix like with like the firewall because it creates short angles for yourself you want to be creative with this wall but you can be super precise in, in high pressure situations so you're just gonna be like you know creating short angles typically like clearing stuff like this uh, or just going for the long angles and just making really awkward walls like the viper when she's she's um let's say um forced to create a viper wall on site that holds two spots like if the viper wall holds doors and heaven then it creates a pocket into jenny and you'll have the same issue with harbor the thing is Harbor has this wall only once, 40, once per 40 seconds, essentially, right? While the Viper has more flexibility because she can put it up and down many times during the round. Even though you cannot reposition it, I consider the Viper wall being more flexible than the Harbor wall because of that. Um, so yeah, and, and that, that's like the Cascade. I really like the Cascade because it, it, it creates the angles like, you know, that you can again clear it, clear it for yourself. Right? Like, you can just stop the wall like this, clear the angles, just go out, and, like, be more flexible on, on the amount of angles that your teammates are limited to. But again, the kit and the entire kit achieves the same thing. So you have no flexibility. Like, you're expected to do one thing, and also it requires you to be in specific spots when it comes to the map position, because when you're in a brimst when you're a brimstone or an omen you can stand anywhere on the map and still do creative smokes while with haba you need to stand on a specific spot on the map to make sure that your smoke achieves what you want to achieve with it and that makes it really awkward because sometimes you're not able to reposition and your piece of utility will not achieve what you want it to do specifically with cascade right because cascade always is a straight up wall and if you're standing on the incorrect angle, you might not be able to use it the way you wanted it to be used. You know? And wh what can we do to fix him? Because right now, he kind of sucks. I think the biggest problem is, one of the biggest problems is, is that this smoke doesn't last when the, when, the, when the shield gets destroyed. They should be immediately buffed. So the smoke stays while the shield is being destroyed, because then at least you know what to expect from your utility, the smoke will stay up, you got a little bit of a barrier, and that's about it. I was also compla uh, complaining, um, contemplating the possibility of maybe your opponents, um, uh, maybe th th there should be a possibility of blocking players' movement while the shield is up. So your opponent cannot go into the smoke while the shield is up. And if someone is in the smoke while the shield pops, then maybe your opponent should be pushed out from the smoke. Because... You know, there's like a water thing or something in, in the middle of it, you know? Uh, but in general, this smoke still sh still should stay up even when the shield is this uh, is destroyed. Or keep it as it is right now, but make it for 200 and make it possible that he has two. If, if Harbour would have had two of those smokes and each would cost 200, I would probably consider those pieces of utility being worth. But then, will it be too strong? Maybe. Because if you can just throw two pieces of the smoke on someone who is diffusing the spike, that means that you have to push into the smoke to make sure that the opponent will just not diffuse, because otherwise you have to sacrifice a full clip of a vandal to destroy both of those shields, right? So, and that brings me to another point of Harbor. This champion, this agent, 
is so hard to balance properly because it, it can literally ruin pro play if he's gonna be too strong and he's not like he's close to being strong in pro play where there's more potential synergy with other agents right but now he's too weak for solo queue and too weak for pro play in my eyes but if he gets a little bit too much of a buff then he might be still too weak for soul queue but he's gonna just become absolutely broken for pro play and that brings me to another piece of utility most likely uh the high tide should be also buffed because the slow is just not not impactful enough right like the slow doesn't really change much like you can still like kind of wide swing through so um that's another problem that i have with it this should be probably not the, the slow should not be a symmetrical effect it should not affect your teammates and the slow should be a little bit more powerful on the opponents so they respect it more but they also get worried that someone will push through the smoke because there's no symmetrical effect for the opponents. Remember, there's one thing that I just didn't speak about at all. In pro play, Harbor will probably be very nice to use with agents like Sky or Ko or Yoru because it can create pop flashes on almost every single space um, on the map. Because you create the wall, you pop flash through the wall, and you go through, right? And that's another thing. What what if you have to like balance the agent towards those pop flashes that pro players will do with him? Um, and yeah, and the same goes to to the to the height uh, to the cascade. I think that the slow effect should be um, should be stronger. It shouldn't be symmetrical. The wall should be probably a little bit wider. I would say maybe a little bit. Although it kind of does feel good when you retake sites with it. Like, it's probably one of the best kits um, for retaking. Like, I really like it. Like, when I was retaking b site from B-Main because I was flanking through, through short, I liked using this wall. I just use it like this. I run in with it. I stop it here. And I can clear the entire site, drop down, and have multiple angles, possibilities of, of just going onto the site. Which is very nice. But again, this agent actually feels more impactful on attack than on defense, because on defense he just feels like completely useless when it comes to stopping a push. And if, as a controller, he cannot control the site, well, then you feel like you don't have almost no agency when it comes to how to playing the agent. Agent Like, the ultimate is the only piece of utility that allows you to stop people from pushing you. Right? Uh, so, yeah. Um... The same buffs would be for for high tide and cascade that i would see uh ultimate can stay as it is maybe buff it to not stun your teammates would be okay uh, maybe i would say maybe it's too strong then it's so hard to say right uh one thing i was also considering for him is also um changing his high tide from cooldown to fuel so imagine you have a fuel bar on this agent and the longer the wall is the more fuel it uses, right? The more water in the tank it uses, and it dissipates once once that fuel is gone. But it's not the same amount like Viper. Like, it's way less, right? But you can make the wall shorter. Oh, wait. You can make the wall shorter, right? So it uses less fuel, and because of that, it stands higher up. Because right now, the duration of the full wall is 15 seconds, right? But you have, like, almost no flexibility with it, right? I know this makes him a little bit similar to Viper, but you still have different timings of it. It's just similar usage of resources for a certain for a certain piece of utility, but it still would be different, you know. Uh, but yeah, biggest problems for me is the fact that he's very one-dimensional and his kit is entirely focused on blocking enemy vision right now. Uh, I'm very worried about balancing this agent because I, it can either if it's too strong, uh, sorry, if it's strong enough for solo queue, I, I can almost imagine it being way, 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 way too strong for pro play, and then he will dominate pro play as a support secondary controller, you know? And uh, yeah, maybe we should also consider changing one of his utility to have actual damage to stop a push, you know? Like, uh, But then that would mean to a rework with one of his piece of utility, like completely, just completely get it out. You know, and I don't think that's possible with the way that the kit is currently designed. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. See ya!